In this video, we're going to explore the southwest region of the United States. The southwest region in the United States is made up of the following four states. Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. Much of the land in the southwest region is desert. Deserts are hot and dry. The southwest is typically thought of as a hot, dry area of land. This is true in many, but not all parts of this region. Arizona has some of the hottest summers in the United States. While New Mexico, mountains get snowfall, even in early fall. This region doesn't get a lot of precipitation. When it does rain, it can become quite dangerous, causing flash floods. During a flash flood, so much rain will fall in a short period of time that the dry land can't absorb it fast enough. The water can easily cover roads and carry cars away. The Southwest is known for having very powerful storms, such as thunderstorms, tornadoes, and sometimes hurricanes. The eastern coast of Texas borders the Gulf of Mexico. Many powerful hurricanes have come ashore and caused damage in Texas. Oklahoma and northern Texas are part of Tornado Alley. That is an area that gets many tornadoes every year. Tornadoes can form quickly and be very deadly. The physical geography in the southwest includes plains, hills, deserts, and mountain ranges. Mountains are found in all four states in this region. A large body of water called the Gulf of Mexico borders this region southeast of Texas. Mexico borders it to the south. Outside of the cities, this region is a land of wide open spaces. Even though only four states make up this region, it still covers quite a bit of land. Texas is the second largest state in the United States behind only Alaska. In Texas alone, you will find coastal lands, Great Plains, rolling hills, a plateau, desert valleys, and a wooden, wooded mountain slopes. Only about 10% of Texas is desert. That leaves a lot of space for the farms and ranches. Texas leads the country in raising cattle, horses, sheep, and goats. They also grow more cotton than any other state. In Oklahoma, you'll find mountains, cannons, and mesas, which are medium-sized flat-topped hills or mountains, and plenty of fertile plains. New Mexico has mountains, deserts, caverns, and colorful canyons. It also has a supervolcano called the Valles Caldera. It is capable of making a volcanic eruption thousands of times larger than normal volcanoes. Even though New Mexico is a large state, it does not have a lot of water located in rivers or lakes. That makes it difficult to grow crops. In Arizona, you will find mountains, forests, deserts, plateaus, and deep canyons. One very well-known canyon is called the Grand Canyon. It is colorful with steep sides and it is very deep. There are many industries that are found in the Southwest, including fishing, tourism, agriculture, mining, and oil production. With great access to the Gulf of Mexico, commercial fishing is an important industry in Texas. Vacationers to the Southwest enjoy camping, boating, hiking, skiing, and sightseeing. Tourists often visit national parks and beach resorts and many historical sites. Both farming and ranching are found in the rural areas. Farmers in the Southwest grow crops including cotton, grains, fruits, and vegetables. Ranchers raise and sell livestock including camels, cattle, horses, sheep, and goats. Using mineral resources, the Southwest leads in creating cement, crushed stone, lime, salt, sand, and gravel. Arizona mines two-thirds of the nation's copper. Oil wells and natural gas production are particularly important parts of the economies in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. Natural resources are materials that are found in the environment which are not made by humans. People use these resources in order to make other helpful things. There are many natural resources that are found in this region, including oil, copper, and minerals. Even wind and water and the sun are natural resources that are used to create energy. There are several fascinating landmarks that can be found in the West. 
The Hoover Dam was built in the 1930s on the Colorado River and named after President Herbert, Ho Herbert Hoover. This dam is a huge concrete barrier that controls floods, provides irrigation water for growing crops, and produces hydropower. The Grand Canyon in Arizona is an official national park. Geologists have found evidence that it took the Grand Canyon millions of years to form. Slowly, wind and water carried away rock and soil from the ground. This formed a hole in the ground, and over the years, it became bigger and bigger. Finally, the last landmark is the Navajo National Monument. This Native American people have a long history of living in the land that is known as the Southwest region. Today, many aspects of their traditional culture are still practiced by those living there. The Navajo National Monument exists to preserve and protect the cliff dwellings built by the ancestral Puebloan people.